How's it going, everyone? Vapes and Games here. Once again here on YouTube. Boy, y'all. We're going to be answering a simple question. Well, not so simple, but we're going to try and answer the question or a couple of questions. First and foremost, what's it like picking up Rainbow Six as a brand spanking new player in 2024? We've just linked our Ubisoft account here on the PlayStation 5 and loaded the game up. There was a little bit of a cutscene which I cut out just for the sake of uh, time. And yeah, I'm sure you don't just want to watch a full cutscene. You can watch that anytime uh, when you start the game yourself or maybe look it up. It was nothing too special. So I just skipped over that. But here we are, our first screen we are presented with. And it's come up with tutorials. Learn what Rainbow Six Siege is all about by completing the tutorial. Earn 10 operators after finishing the basics which are mastering the basics, learn the core mechanics you need to siege. Average duration is 6 to 15 minutes. Attack, learn how to breach defenses and attack the objective while protecting the diffuser. 5 to 12 minutes. And learn how to defend an objective room against opponent. So I'm presuming here it's going to take us through a test match. Um, I don't understand what operators are or anything like that. I'm presuming they're like the hero archetypes in the game or uh, sort of classes that you can pick and stuff. But all that will be uncovered. Like I said, this is a true to life. First time picking up Rainbow Six Siege in 2024. Let's get into this and let's go. So here we go. Your health is on the bottom left. Keep an eye on it. We'll be guiding you using pings, like the ones in your comms display. There are two types, location pings on the left and opponent pings on the right. Maneuver your camera to follow my ping. Great. Now walk to the target zone. So, first things first, before we do anything else. This is a great looking game. I'm liking the aesthetic. I'm liking the visibility and the readability of the textures and whatnot. The actual input and uh, joypad acceleration, it's got a very good feel to it. So, we're going to move forward. I just thought I'd say that straight off the bat. The first thing I noticed is, you know, the crosshair is great. The graphics look good. It's very clean and legible. Uh, it's got a good FOV. And the movement feels really solid. So we're going to move over to this marker here. See that pinged area on the other side? You'll have to go around to continue your training. We'll go have a little look down the iron sights here. Printing. And the movement nice is very now tactical and very real to life. Feels very good, actually. I'd say it's more Counter-Strike than Call of Duty if you've played that game. Nice. Your ammo is limited. Don't waste your shots. Reload early if you have to. Wait until the last second. If you do run out of ammo, switch to your backup weapon. You can't always rely on your primary one. Switch them out. Try your secondary weapon on the... Now back to your primary. Nice. See the prompt? You can climb over some barriers, including the... So just before we move forward here, we are going to take a little quick look into the controls. So, it does support haptic triggers, gadget deployment, drone, looking version is enabled, controller, rotation, updated, and classic. Okay, let's just have a look here. We've got it on prioritized performance, and the field of view is adjustable, which is great to see. We're going to bang it somewhere in the middle, just for the sake of this. We're going to leave V-Sync on to keep the video smooth, but having it off. On a high refresh monitor like I have will probably be very advantageous for the competitive element of the game. I'm just looking here for some sort of um, sensitivity setting. Uh, well, it was further down. Okay, here we go. So we've got dead zones here, so we'll lower these down a little touch. L2 dead zone. We'll set these all the way down there. That's your aiming. And shoot. Controller ADS sensitivity. So the movement sensitivity was not too bad. Um, so we'll probably just lower this down a little bit. I do prefer accuracy over speed. And uh, yeah, we'll jump back in here. This one. 
Oh yeah, that's beautiful actually. Very, very good. Sound design's very on point. Very graphically impressive spot. game for the Speaking age of it. They've clearly kept up to date. The rooms beyond had unseen targets. You'll need to lean to see around these tight corners. Go to the door and lean left. Then shoot the target on the other side. So, goes to the door. Okay. Goes to the ping, then press L3. So, how does this work? Goes to the door and lean left. Goes to the ping and aim. I'm a little bit confused on how this is actually going to work. Ah. So, okay. So, just to let you guys know. When you ADS, if you click left stick, you go that way. You click right stick, you go that way. Like so. Uh, now here, get to get a sneaky. And lean right to shoot the next target. To get close to the window. Gonna lean right here. Beautiful. You can check the control layout. Let's just see what the melee You're button is. Along nicely, specialist. Let's test your endurance. If there is indeed a melee button, which I presume there would we be. Set up an obstacle course through that door. Speed isn't everything. Stealth and precision will help you avoid detection. Check this sound meter to learn how much sound oh, your actions sound make. Oh, sound meter as well. Wow. First, try crouching. You'll be a smaller target and make less. Do we will have to? Um, I think I would prefer crouch to be on the stick if that is at all possible. Um, let's just have a look here. Some definite advanced control settings here. Very in-depth. So, customized controller inputs. So, we've got change stance. And what does the stick actually do? So, L3. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's just have a little bit of a look. Observation tools, that's not what we're looking for. So, merely attack here. Do you want to restart? No. So I'm not even entirely sure if we can rebind that. So we've got change stance and go prone. Mm. Right. So that would mess up sort of the leaning and right. other things. So we're going to leave crouch actually on circle and we're just going to have to get used to that as a mechanic which is better as well because whilst we're doing this which requires the sticks doing call of duty i like to have my crouch and in other shooters i like to have it on my right stick but obviously when we're doing this in game um we need another bottom three to be able to actually crouch so it makes sense actually well if you need to you Let's can go. prone to lay low Cro this position can also help steady oh we can lie right. down and you can Keep see the hand as well advantage. very Try nice Sorry, what are we supposed to do? Okay, go for all. All right. Nicely done. Your next lesson is through these obstacles. Make your way to the ping. Hold up. The target's facing away from you. If you walk up slowly, you can greatly reduce the noise you make and avoid extreme sprinting. I didn't sprint. Target here, <laughs> lose the element of surprise. Ah, so slightly tilt the left Hold stick. Up. Okay. The target's facing away from you. If you walk up slowly, sneak up close, and you can take out the target. With no oh, what? If the target hears you. You lose the element of surprise. Kind of crazy. Sneak up close, and you can take out the target with a melee attack. You 
You accomplished the lock. Beautiful. Now get to that door. If you need to, run. Otherwise, keep it down. So, Just there's no case. combat slide. And when you're going down and up and changing stance, it does affect your ADS time. So, it's very tactical in that so regard. This is a barricade. I want you to go through it. A few melee attacks should get the job done. There's a target on the other side. They're partially hidden, so aim carefully. Go for the head. Headshot. One headshot is enough to Beautiful. eliminate any opponent. There is a target in the room to your right, protected by bulletproof glass. And a wooden wall next to it. You've seen these, but this one has no holes in it. Here's the trick. You can shoot through this kind of surface to take out a target on the other side. Told you. Target is no more. You're learning to That's use pretty your awesome. environment to your advantage. Good job. Not only can you shoot through breakable walls, but you can also break them to pass through if you have the right tools. Your breaching hammer should do the trick here. Okay. The breaching hammer is Sledge's unique ability. Every operator has their own unique ability. You should learn how they function and interact. But for now, smash that wall. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh baby. You won't be able to pass through the metal beams. Side note, check your compass. It indicates what room and floor you're in. Now to drop down, you need to find a hatch. Your compass updates wow. automatically when you change locations. Communication between teammates is essential. Display things and help you relay your location. Apply your knowledge to good thinking with a hammer. Feel free to experiment with your unique ability, melee attack, and firearm. So he's still through glass. Which is no good. But so is he. So I'm just kind of wondering how do we get through Take here? Take a look at this target behind the bulletproof glass. You won't be able to get it with your firearm or melee attack. Time to learn about gadgets. Okay. All operators have these, but you can only carry one variety at a time. In this case, you have frag grenades. Throw one above the bulletproof glass to eliminate the target. Throw one above? Like where? The hell? Ah, okay. Bye, bud. Goodbye. Boom. We're almost done. Find the next hatch to go through. So far, this new player experience uh, is very good. I'm going to presume that this R1 ability that we have here is going to be different uh, per agent. Good luck if you need a refresh to check the control layout. So here we go. Um. So is there a little gap here or anything that we can get inside this, uh, here? Okay. Um, could we get over this? So it looks like we're going through here first. So there's no sprint. Oh, right. So sprinting cancels reload as well. So what we're going to do first and foremost, we're going to bounce this grenade. There we go. That's one. Boom. Okay, that's two. Got three and nice. Let's go, baby. Your basic training is complete. Lovely. We'll be there to guide you through the rest. You might be ready for your first mission. Soon. Soon? Okay. Very nice, very impressive. A great little tutorial there. So, we got... A thousand renowned, a thousand renowned, a thousand renowned. So, yeah, but this must be how much they cost. So, we got Sledge, Glaze, or Glaz, uh, Thermite, Thatcher, IQ, Bandit, Doc, Smoke, Mute, and Capcan. Very sort of tactical rainbow 60 names love it 
Uh, so on the main menu here, we've obviously got like... We've got a locker uh, where we can possibly adapt our appearance and stuff. Um, I don't know if this applies to... Um, so that's a Thatcher and that's a mirror. So they are character-specific cosmetics. There is a battle pass of some kind, which we will investigate in more depth in a later video. Where you can get full cosmetics and all sorts of stuff. There's a shop where you can probably buy new agents or whatever they call them in this game. Elites or whatever. Uh, there's attachment skins, head gear. There's all sorts of stuff here. This is uh, quite a lot to take in. And we may have to cover it in a separate video. Um... Did we cover the... I thought there were three stages to the actual tutorial. It actually looks like we have covered the tutorial in its entirety. So what we're going to do here, we're going to jump into a game from my perspective uh, as I've never, played, I've never played this game. And we're going to see exactly how this is for a new player. So these are looking like the available operators as they're known. And we're going to... I have no idea what we're going to pick here. Um, so it does tell you the difficulty, the speed of the character's movement, the health that they have, what their speciality is, and the um, sort of ability on the R1. So Sledge is the one we used in the tutorial with the hammer. We have Thatcher who has EMP grenades. Um, I could go into detail in this down the road. Obviously, today is just an introductory introduction to the game uh rifle shield my god this game so we're gonna just try out the guy we used on the tutorial which is sledge we're gonna have a look at his loadout so it appears that each operator kind of sort of has a loadout so to speak a de facto loadout so we're gonna equip um, this gun here as opposed to using a shotgun and there are a plethora of sights that we can use which is great to see we're going to take a red dot here um, a suppressor reduces the time to reload reduces okay so we'll take a vertical grip here we have no weapon skins, unfortunately, as we are new to the game. We're going to take a suppressor as well. I don't know if this reduces damage at all, as I am very new. Impact EMP grenade, stun grenade. Beautiful. Appearance-wise, there's obviously a lot of different appearances that can be equipped, unlocked, um i'm not sure do we help do i own this one is this mine it's an exclusive item so we will look deeper into the cosmetic side of things at a later date but for now we are just gonna get into a game here if we can load our appearance bundles operator guides practice shooting range so i'm just trying to figure out how we actually start a game here so oh so this is just to look at the operators is that right right okay so we've got to play versus ai to begin with so my bad that was just the operator sort of um viewer where you can look at all the different characters set them up with your cosmetics and whatnot um so yeah my bad You'll have to forgive me. This is a true to life video. I am very, very new to this game and don't fully understand the mechanics or the menus. We are in matchmaking here for a versus AI match. So I'm presuming it's going to build up. We're going to do versus AI. Then into player versus player. Then perhaps get to a X amount of experience and then go into ranks later on. Um, it's kind of good to see that these people in this way 
This does seem like rather a complicated tactical shooter as opposed to something you just load up into and just run around and shoot people. It does seem a hell of a lot more methodical. There we go. This is my team. This is looking like we've got a bunch of real players here, but we're going against AI. So I will apologize in advance for um, any vulgarity or problems that my team may uh, um, have caused. Reliable. Um, so we'll just go with the recruit for now. Um, hard hitting rifle. Okay, that's fine. Breach charge, that'll do. And so we've got like what looks like to be a drone here of some kind. Where we're probably gonna be probably gonna be getting some intel here. So I've no idea where I'm going or what the map is like. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. So I'm just gonna follow these guys and hope that they have a little bit more experience than myself. Who's just killed his own teammate for some reason. So he's just quit out. He's not looking like um, a very good new player experience. We are going to make our way in here. And hopefully... Um, Let's plant a charge here. So we do actually have a drone that we can put out and have a little gander about. So I'm just wondering how we can mark up enemies here. This looks clear. So have I been killed here? No. Nope. Gonna make our way in. Guns blazing. I don't like that beep. I don't know what it is. Damn, we got three of them though. I am very impressed with this game though. I mean, I am sorry about the voiceover at the beginning of the game and the fact that somebody TK'd. I may edit that out of the video. But, um, yeah, definitely interesting. Um, bit of a learning curve, it would appear, and some toxic players. But you're going to find that in any competitive shooter. I'm sure the more experience I gain and the further I delve into this game, the better the experience will be. Wondering how I spectate my guy here. You must recover the diffuser. We have Do we lost? Okay. So the AI did us there. Interesting. The shotguns are pretty brutal. So we're going to spawn over here. We're going to take sledge. We're going to ready up. So this is definitely going to be a game that I'm going to be investing a little bit more time into. I'm kind of disappointed with the state of affairs with Call of Duty with the amount of cheaters. Um, I don't like the gun balancing, the battle passing, the monetization. Um, and I am seriously considering not buying this year's Call of Duty. Regardless of whether it's good or bad to make a stand against Blizzard Activision. I'm a little bit sick of what they've done with Call of Duty. But that's another subject for another video. 
and I am looking for something that I can get my teeth sank into that's going to have a little bit more depth and what not. Now, I'm just wondering, how do I... How do I mark up here? I'm gonna... How do I... How do I mark... Was that marked now? Or is it just automatically marked? Five seconds. You've located a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. So we're gonna push in on our mark that we made, I think. Is that still stayed up? Can we climb up this? Okay. So, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going here. I have a little bit of a feel out where they are. Are there gunshots over here? I'm presuming the bomb is this way. very clean uh, this game is quite good you know it's uh i'm i'm sorry i'm not start just talking too much but i'm really like into this this is like kind of a good game uh, very tactical uh very sort of um holding your breath tackle so to speak the world tech out iq here is supposed to be an electronic detector specialist we will pick up the diffuser here so we can defuse the bomb so each round appears to start uh where we've just got to sort of fish out the intel and whatnot so we're going to move in here make our way into the building and just try and find out um so Oh, I'm out of range. Oh, damn. I don't actually know what, what's happened here. But we are... We have seemed to have you know, like got some intel, but I think I've took my little drone out of range. So we can press down to change operator. So depending on the scenario that we actually uncover, you can change your operator in that instance and say, hey... This operator might be better at breaching this situation. So here's my teammates here. So I'm going to make my way up. We've got one there. You can hear him stomping around. The sound hiring is definitely... A viable strat here. But ammo is limited. Reloading. So we don't want to be... We don't want to be spraying too much here. So we got one there. 
So we do need to move in on the bomb. shot so where's the bomb at Mission successful. okay you will have to forgive me i am very new here i'm very new do this title and this is a true to life video i am a little bit embarrassed about like not understanding the mechanics and stuff but i wanted it to be realistic and uh, i don't like to fool people i like to keep my content as honest as humanly possible uh, we're going to go sledge here so we can do like fast uh, break ins and stuff. It does seem to favour tactical approach and uh, map knowledge. Two things that will come with becoming a seasoned veteran player. And playing this game for a long time it would appear also you know which operators you choose and whatnot would make a massive difference um i mean this game just seems kind of deep um and a bit daunting for a new player but i will do a follow-up series and a follow-up set of videos uh highlighting sort of my progress and what I think moving forward and further down the road with this game. I'm just going to try and get some intel here. So, oh, whoa, what's that? Ten seconds. Five seconds so how, the only thing I'm struggling with is how do I mark things? You found a bomb. Make your way to its location and defuse it. Oh, so did I find the bomb there? Okay. It's 40 meters this way. Is that right? They're going to fast move up here and just breach it straight away. So, heaven forbid if there had been somebody stood there behind that, we would have been in a world of pain. I shot my teammate there. Someone on my back there. Good job. So these guys could be lurking around any corner. We got one there. Nice, we got him. Beautiful, beautiful guys. Well played. Interesting. The AI is actually pretty good. Um, I've got to say. So that was a little sneak peek into my first ever experience with Rainbow Six Siege. And I've got to say, it was an interesting one and a pleasant one. I got MVP there. Perfect end to a perfect day. If you did enjoy today's content, comment, like, subscribe, and ring that post notification bell, and stay tuned for more Rainbow Six Vegas moving forward. Thanks for watching.